I'm Pam Annesley from the Metal Clay Art Studio here in Perth, Western Australia. My studio is just across the road from the beach where I like to walk and collect interesting items. Some of these items have good texture and I think they would be good to use in my metal clay jewellery. Sometimes however they break and so I find the answer is to make moulds of the items or texture plates and I do this with polymer clay. First of all I take some polymer clay and I manipulate it in my hands to condition it so that it's soft and pliable. Then I can roll it out into a slab that's big enough for my texture. Once I've got my slab of polymer clay I need a mould release to stop it sticking into the areas which have got deep texture. So I use a mould release which is generally used on car dashboards and I squirt a little bit into a dish and then put a little bit on top of the clay. You could use water or cornstarch for this. Then I take my mould my item that I'm going to use and in this case I'm going to make a mould from this piece of cuttlefish bone. I really like this texture. I place the, text, the clay over the top of the texture and press quite firmly with my fingers. I can have a look if I don't take it off completely to see how much indentation is there. Once I've pressed my, with my fingers and got the indentation that I want, I can take the clay off and have a look at the pattern. Next, The next step is to cure this piece of clay at the manufacturer's recommended temperatures. Um, once you've done that you have a piece of clay that is permanently usable for making metal clay jewellery. And you can use this time and time again. This one is a polymer clay mould of the top of a sea urchin shell. And this one I have rolled the sea urchin across the clay and that would make interesting texture for a ring. Other items that are easily pressed into clay are things like leaves. I'll show you some of the items now that I've made from some of the moulds that I've made recently.